Hey guys, welcome to the video. With recent updates to Tarkov, there have been numerous buffs to the AK platform, and today we're going to be looking at one of the best in slot AKs to see the changes that they have made. We'll be looking at the AK-103 today, which is statistically the best 7.62mm AK in the game at the time of this recording. While I do intend on doing best in slot guides for the other 7.62mm AKs down the road, I wanted to start off the video with a quick roundup of the other AKs of the same caliber to reduce any confusion. The AK-103 is the best 7.62mm AK in the current build of the game. Next up is the AKM and the AKMN, which are statistically identical. In the next tier, we have the AK-104, which is a shorter version of the AK-103 in a sense, therefore suffering from higher recoil than the previous weapons. And in our final tier, we have the wire stock AKs, the AKMS and the AKMSN, which are also statistically identical. With that out of the way, let's look at the AK-103. So let's get straight into modding. We're going to start out with our pistol grip. We're going to be using the Aeronox Scorpius pistol grip for AK. You can also use the RK3 pistol grip as they offer the same ergo boost, however the Scorpius is cheaper. Next up is the AK74 AK100 PT lock, and with that on our weapon we can put on the Zenit PT3 Klaska stock. Next up is our charging handle, we're going to be using the Zenit RP1 charging handle, and then our dust cover, which is the Academia Bastion dust cover. With that out of the way, we're going to be moving on to our gas block and handguard. We're going to be using the VS24 handguard. This comes in both black and white, so use whichever one you prefer. And then we're going to be putting on our muzzle device. We're going to be using the JMAC RRD 4C muzzle brake, as the 7.62 assault rifles kick quite a bit. Then we can either put on a 4 inch or a 2 inch guide for a flashlight. I prefer the Steiner d -Bow PL flashlight as I think that its functionality is unrivaled, but at the end of the day that does come down to personal preference. Then we can move on to our 6 inch guide for our front grip, and the front grip that we're going to be using is the Fortis Shift Tactical Grip, as its ergo boost is massive. And then our weapon is complete. The statistics at the end are 84 ergonomics, 63 vertical recoil, and 152 horizontal recoil. The cost of this build comes out to 159,875 rubles, which for a meta build is especially cheap. To put it in perspective, this build is 100,000 rubles cheaper than the meta HK416 build, although that does not mean this weapon will in turn outperform the HK. That being said, this build in combination with the recent buffs to this platform make this weapon more viable than ever, and it should definitely be given a try. And that sums up the AK-103 build. If you enjoyed the content, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Soon I'll be releasing more guides on the buffed AKs, including the 5.45mm AKs as well as the 5.56mm AKs. Until then, good luck and thanks for watching.